Okay, guys, it's time to have a little chat about Jeff Molson's press conference today. There was some good questions being thrown his way at this one, and uh, in this video, I'm going to try and do my best to point out the most important takeaways from the press conference. And if you missed it, I'll leave the link in the description of this video so you can go have a look for yourself. But first, if you're a fan of the Habs, or you slammed a couple of beers to celebrate a shakeup in the Habs office, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more of you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, first thing of importance here, Jeff Molson does admit that Jeff Gordon is going to be around long term. And that he will be one of two individuals who are going to be basically the chiefs of the team. Gorton is going to be vice president of hockey ops. And the new guy being brought in in the near future is going to be the general manager, obviously. Now what stood out the most to me from this whole interview is what I'm about to talk about right now. And that's when Molson was asked about a potential rebuild. You know? Because it always felt like Bergevin danced and tiptoed around the whole rebuild question every time it was asked. He always wanted to retool, whip out the band-aids, and sometimes it worked. But other times it didn't. This season, for example... Uh, it sure as hell did not. But Jeff Molson today on the subject of a potential rebuild if Gordon and the GM recommended it would say, quote, I'm not afraid of that word and I think it's something our fans are not afraid of either. Now, it's unclear whether or not this is the route that Gordon and the new GM will decide to go, but hey, if you're asking me, I am a fan of this idea. I'd enjoy seeing a youth movement. Getting some high draft picks and drafting some high-end talent. Oh, that is something we haven't seen here in a long, ratchety-ass time. Us poor Hab fans, man. Jeez. We went crazy over Nikita Sherbeck. We fell in love with Jared Tenorti. We bought in to Louis LeBlanc. Imagine having a player like Connor McDavid or Nathan McKinnon. Someone of that kind of caliber playing for the Habs. <laughs> now that would be exciting. Moving on to some more takeaways here from the press conference. As we all know, the importance of a French-speaking general manager in Montreal is huge. It's just as big and important as ketchup, honestly. And Molson made it very clear that the next GM will be the main communicator with the fans. Gordon's going to speak once in a while, but the GM is the main communicator. And this is the thing of beauty about bringing a guy like Gordon in for this position. I mean, you can hire the best guy available now. Doesn't matter if he speaks French, English, Nufi, Portuguese, Hebrew, or meows like a cat. If you're good and you're available, you can join. Just like Jeff Gordon. And then you just bring in a boiling old general manager to keep everybody happy. It's genius. Now as far as when we can expect the new general manager to be hard, the true answer here is, it could be any time. It could be next month, it could be during the off season, we don't really know. Jeff Molson says the search for the new GM will be exhaustive, potentially extending into next off season for the right person, but also he says the sooner the better. And he would also indicate that he has not yet asked for permission to speak to any candidates on any team. So hey, I'm guessing that's about to happen soon. As for candidates, I've heard just about every French name you can think of. Patrick Waugh, Roberto Luongo's name has been brought up, Marty Brodeur, Matthew Dash, and lots more. A name that I've even heard today several times, and I cringe every time I hear it for some reason, is Danny Breer. Alright, and according to Eric Ingalls, he is very high up on the list of candidates. Keywords here, of course, being very high, because I think they would have to be a little high to let Breer become GM, but then again, what do I know? Nothing, absolutely nothing. Although I did lead the Montreal Canadiens to five consecutive Stanley Cups on Xbox one time, I'm just saying, it's gotta count for something. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Do you think they're going to find a general manager soon? Or do you think it's going to take a while and they're going to hire somebody during the offseason? And what do you think of some of these names that are being thrown out there? If you were to pick one, who would it be? Don't say Patrice Brisewa. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.